This is the new 2017 Ford Super Duty. We're going to show you how to install the grill guard on this guy right here. Um, first thing the you got to take off is this little thing. There's some little clips on here that comes on there. You just pull them down like that and you take them off. This is where we actually mount this um, grill guard to. The outside ones here is the ones that we're going to loosen up. They're 18 millimeters. You're going to take them off of there. We've kind of got the other side done. This is what you you're looking at you got two bolts right there you're going to take them off and you got a little keyway on the other side that holds the, the nuts together right there you're going to take that completely out and you're going to reuse in the bolt bag there's some two and a half by three quarter bolts you're going to use those to mount your grill guard on the back side we have a support bracket that helps back this thing up you need to put on there um, it looks this is what it looks like I'm not going to try to show you how to put this on with the bumper on because it's really hard to see. What we're going to do is take this bumper off. You do not take it off. You can get it on there without taking it off. But in order to take a picture of it so you can see it better, we're going to take the bumper off and we're going to show that to you. After we get through doing that, then we'll, we'll put the bumper back on and we're going to show you how to align the grill card. So we're going to take the bumper off so you can see how um, the, the bracket is mounted on there better. Now that the bumper's off, you can see it a lot better. This is the bracket that you're putting behind the bumper to reinforce that thing. There's these two nuts right here, the two nuts that have to come off to mount that bracket. Um, not all trucks are gonna have this little bottom piece down here, so the ones that don't, we have supply a half by one and three quarter bolt that you'll get in there. It is tight to get them bolts in there, and even when you take the nuts off not to lose the clip. If you got that clip in there, or this on there, you're gonna have a clip in there, when you take those nuts off, you can get a screwdriver. There's some holes up inside this frame up underneath. You can get a screwdriver and you can put on the back side of that clip from underneath there and that'll help hold that clip out. If the clip does drop, you can get your fingers in here. It's just tight to get that clip back in there. And that's how you what you're going to have to do to put the bolts in there. And then once all that's on there, I would just barely snug these bolts right at first. And then you're going to end up putting your guard on and it goes through these holes right here and tighten when you align your guard and all that, get all your guard tightened and all that, that way it pulls this bracket to the front. Once that bracket's pulled to the front, you know it's pulled as far to the front as it'll go, then you can finish tightening these bolts up underneath there and it just makes sure everything gets in spot better that way. But we're going to go ahead and um, put the bumper back on now and we're going to show you how to align your guard. We've got the guard up here. As we said, we put those two half by two and a half bolts on the outside on each um, side of this guard. Once you get that up there, you, to align this thing, we, I always stand back and look from the middle of the guard and line it up with the rear view mirror. And you can line up the tops of these, um, what I call the loops, tops of the loops with the lights of your hood line. You can make sure you get it um, right from side to side. And you also want to just take the tape measure and measure on what I call the loops here and make sure that you get the same distance from side to side. And then you go ahead and tighten those four bolts on uh, two bolts on each side, four total. And up underneath, just make sure that those side bolts that we showed you just to snug first on that back mounting bracket are tight. Um, just tighten those up, and that's 18 millimeter, and these were three quarter socket on these guys. And once you make sure all bolts are tight again, you know, double check everything, and that's the install for your 2017 Super Duty Front Frontier Grill Guard.